Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're going to be checking out a beer, well, that started its life out as a joke. So, let me paint you a picture here. Imagine yourself in Pittsburgh, 1950. You turn on the radio to one of the very famous comedians that's on the air, Regis Cordick and he's spitting off one of his famous commercials, which just happens to be for fictional beer. Old frothing slosh, pale stale ale. <laughs> God, what a name. <laughs> but that's what happened. That's where this beer actually came to be about, is this radio DJ host would actually kind of make his own commercial skits, similar to say like a Saturday Night Live skit. And well, some of them were about beer and just this really crazy beer. And they were all basically kind of humorous. Some of them seemed pretty dark humor too. It's midnight. You're carrying old frothing slosh pale stale ale with the boom on the bottom down a lonely street. From the darkness, a voice barks. Stick him up! You laugh in his face. <laughs> I said reach! You snicker when things get rough. <laughs> I take... <laughs> it's obvious you laugh at anything. So wait until you see the new Old Frothing Slosh labels. Six different funny labels make Old Frothing Slosh an uproarious party time gimmick. Serve old frothing slosh and hear the gang read the labels aloud. Listen to them laugh. Watch them enjoy the great beer that's inside. Get old frothing slosh wherever you buy beer. No deposit, no return. Buy the six pack or case. Get delicious beer and plenty of laughs. You see what I mean? Um, anyways, so then around 1956, Iron City Brewing kind of picked up the name as an homage because these commercials and skits became, well, pretty famous in Pittsburgh. And they produced it as more of kind of a holiday-based novelty, once a year, you know, come and get it, a specialty release. Well, slowly over time, it got more and more popular to where they started actually releasing it as its own beer. Now, it was just Iron City's regular beer, just labeled as this other fictional beer. It wasn't, from my understanding, wasn't even that good of a beer to begin with. So in the late 60s, they were looking for a way to kind of distinguish this beer a bit more and decided to go with a very uh, interesting novelty model on the front. And because this beer was kind of almost a, a joke in the sense. So in 1969, the brewery is looking for a new label for their beer. And they decided to go with something a bit out of the ordinary. A 53 year old, 300 pound model named Martha Phillips. So she agreed, and the first can they released in 1969 was a brown can art in her beauty pageant and, well, I would assume it looks like a swimsuit as the cover. And this sold fantastically. And in 1974 and 75, they released eight different color can variations. And in 1976, they came out with a color can with the previous labels of the beer and advertisement on the can surrounding her. So that's what we're going to be trying today, a 1976 Old Frothing Slosh Pale Stale Ale. Well, it's kind of still carbonated. Um, kind of looks like a hazy, actually, right? 
<laughs> there were so many floaties at the end. It kind of almost looked like cinnamon. But yeah, check out this color. So, yeah, kind of almost even looks like, you know, apple cider. But a little still carbonation in it. So, let's uh, give it a try. Like I said, a uh, really malty, kind of almost have the soap smell to it, but mostly like really bad old honey. So, yeah. Not very carbonated. You know, you can taste though that it's still a pale, very thin. Oh my God, like when they say stale though, I mean, I don't know if they meant it to like be stale now or if it was stale back then, but it definitely has a stale crackerness to it um, at the back end. All right, let's give it another shot. Still, actually, it, it, it just tastes slightly sweeter water. Um, there's definitely a drying staleness that starts in the middle and at the back end, but the front uh, flavor is actually pretty decent. It, so I, honestly, it kind of almost tastes at the very front, it tastes like a flat Budweiser. That's really what it tastes like. I will state for its age, horrible yeah it tastes like dust it really tastes like dust it tastes like there's dust in my mouth see that's again it's not horrible honestly i thought this was gonna be nasty rancid you know i guess that the can really kept it really well sealed but again i really love this canner i just think it's like super super cool Oh my, oh my gosh, there's so much settling at the bottom. I, I have to show you this. Look at all of that that settled at the bottom and the floaties that are still there. So Pittsburgh's Brewing Company, Old Frothing Slosh, it's Pale Stale Ale. What do we think? Um, well, I guess actually it's still, you can find some newer ones. They produced it up until the 90s. As far as the 1967 version, which you can go online and find a few of these for sale that are still full. Not horrible. I've actually had worse beers on the show than this beer. I would take this beer over those ones that I'm thinking of any day. Kind of has a powdery, spoiled cider that's been watered down and there's dust floating everywhere. Yeah. See you guys in the next one. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links will be at the very bottom of the description. Um, have you ever had old frothing slosh? What is the oldest beer you've ever drank? Let me know in the comments below. Cheers. Oh, can, can you still see the, the swirlies? Ugh.